let us try to begin with data structures using c this time next time we'll be using with some other thing also so let us see what are we going through i hope all of you can see this so we are first of all moving with a yes. important question why data structures or what is data structures or what do we mean by that so i'm just taking a very small example of a phone book what is all there in your e phone books that you are all having in your mobile phones contacts may you contacts have different kinds of data a phone number hoga you will be having a name you will be having the addresses birthdays email ids or any other information like that so a uh, very important thing to analyze is jab hum contacts ka data we are creating every contact has these common parameters like name phone number address birthday email id out of which phone number is a compulsory thing that every contact should be having others are generally optional even the name is optional to store a contact you generally in all the e phone books you can save a phone number as a contact even without a name or address birth the email id are definitely optional that you want to add you might not want to add so this is about data jo hamare paas bahut sara data hai this is what we are calling as data now why do we want to structureize that data because i have supposedly four friends four relatives very close ones of which details i want to store to so, pehle kya karte the we all used to have a phone directory and in which we used to write these details similar thing is happening on electronic mode now nothing much now what do we want to do with this data this is only a data what do we want to do with this data we want to open a contact we might want to see see a particular thing about a contact we might want to have birthday reminders or we might want to call so the possible operations that are associated with this data is creating a contact adding deleting maybe just searching an address searching a contact or birthdays in august whose birthdays are lined up in august so on and so forth so do cheeze hai yahan pe ek to data hai and there are operations associated with the data they that is where data structure come into the picture आप अपने डेटा को ऐसे स्ट्रक्चर करना चाहते हो ऐसे स्ट्रक्चर में सेव करना चाहते हो सो दैट द ऑपरेशंस बिकम इजी फॉर यू सो दैट द ऑपरेशंस कैन बी डन इन एज क्विक एंड विद एज लेस फॉल्ट एज पॉसिबल राइट सो दिस इज बेसिकली हाउ वी हैव अ लॉट ऑफ डेटा दिस इज जस्ट वन एग्जाम्पल दैट वी ऑल हैव बीन यूजिंग सो हैव टेकन द कॉमन एग्जाम्पल सो हाउ टू ऑर्गेनाइज दिस डेटा सो दैट the efficiency on each and every operation can be optimized to minimum time and more accuracy so to that is how we want to structure our data jab bhi aap kabhi programs likhte hain it is very important that whatever data is required in your program you choose the proper structure or the organization of the data pehle kya hota tha files mein data rakha hai ab wo files mein data is stacked now files ek ke upar ek ke upar ek rakhi you want a file which is if if they are ordered in a proper manner you will be able to go and directly take out a file otherwise you will have to just keep on opening each and every file to search for it but is not very optimal so any data structure that you use kon kon se hai kya hai that will just come to what you want is you want to optimize the efficiency of all possible operations associated with the data or कौन से डेटा को स्ट्रक्चर करेंगे एक साथ विच इज सिमिलर काइंड एज यू कैन सी नेम फॉर नंबर एड्रेस तो डिफरेंट है बट एवरी कॉन्टैक्ट विल हैव ऑल द सेम थिंग्स इफ नॉट ऑल सम ऑफ द सेम थिंग्स सो दैट इज व्हाट यू वांट इन द फोन बुक दैट इज व्हाई यू कैन यूज द सेम डेटा स्ट्रक्चर फॉर ऑल ऑफ दीज फाइन सो लेट्स डिफाइन डेटा स्ट्रक्चर्स इट इज ओनली अ रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ लॉजिकल रिलेशनशिप दैट इज एग्जिस्टिंग 
बिटवीन इंडिविजुअल एलिमेंट्स ऑफ डेटा अब हमने ऐसा सब लिख दिया है इसका क्या मतलब है जैसे हमने फोन बुक का एग्जाम्पल लिया लाइक जस्ट लाइक द वेरी सेम एग्जाम्पल ऑफ द फोन बुक वॉट आर दी डिफरेंट इंडिविजुअल डेटा नेम्स हैं कॉन्टैक्ट हैं वट इज द लॉजिकल रिलेशनशिप एक ही कॉन्टैक्ट का नेम भी है एड्रेस भी है फोन नंबर भी है ई मेल और बर्थडे भी है सेम पर्सन का सो दिस इज द लॉजिकल रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द डेटा नाउ इस पूरे डेटा को एक ही साथ ग्रुप करना चाहते हो आप इन टू अ सिंगल डेटा स्ट्रक्चर सो बिटवीन इंडिविजुअल एलिमेंट आप लॉजिकल रिलेशनशिप को रिप्रेजेंट करने के लिए यू यूज अ डेटा स्ट्रक्चर और यू कैन से you want to organize all of your data so that not only the data is stored but the relationship is also stored just for example names ek jagah likh liye phone numbers dusri jagah likh liye birthdays teesri jagah likh liye how would you know this is the birthday for whom how would you know this is the phone number for whom so you don't only want to store the data you also want to store the relationship between the data items that is where data structures will come into the picture that is how we organize the data using data structures this is majorly known to us then why are we doing this again let us try to test our knowledge once again what are the data structures that we are using daily anybody can uh, think of any data other than the phone book that we are daily using anybody whatsapp whatsapp excellent what else snapchat i am unable to hear please repeat ma'am ma mark record not able to understand ma'am ma marks record like all our recording uh, mark details, uh, ma uh, student details for marks etc right What else? That's it. Bus WhatsApp ही use करते हो आप लोग या फिर contacts और कोई data you don't use. चले let us take another example, a very small example. Nowadays तो it doesn't happen in that manner. दो साल पहले तक before the COVID time, your mom gives you a list and she says net banking, G pay is correct answer. Snapchat, Instagram, you are all correct. They all are using data. let us take a very layman example you all have went to the you are going to a market and your mama calls ye bhi lete hai na ye bhi lete hai na you get this vegetable that vegetable get this also from the market that also from the market now if you only remember the things there will be something that you will forget and then you will be scolded so what do you do you create a list now kuch to sabziyan thi kuch fruits the and there were other items also such as a fevicol or a pen or something like that now if you created a list as mama was saying then what happens is you go to the one shop then you see kon kon sa item tha is shop ka list mein se then you go to another so you are wasting time if you create a list shop wise like all the vegetables together all the fruits together and all the stationery items together you will be able to quickly go through the list and do the shopping it would save your time yes or no yes ma'am so that is a same data that you all are having you are just trying to organize the same data in a manner so that the operations jaise yahan pe kya operation tha wo list create karke aapko padhni hai at the time of shopping so that the operations that you are performing on the data are optimized and there is a relation shopkeeper wali list ek uh, matlab all stationery items are listed together other items are listed together maybe you went to the market for gross you went to the market for shopping gifts for your friends or something so you have the relationships also that you want to organize in a structure in between the data and you want to optimize the operations the efficiency of those operations that you are performing daily day to day mein you are using these now the apps as we have all said that we are living with phone book is one app 
what is the underlying data structure the data structure that a phone book is using is an ordered tree data structure we will be studying a lot of type of data structures one is an ordered tree tri data structure that is used by majority of the phone books in your phones or they are using hash tables again we'll understand what is hashing table se pehle ek single index hai for the entries so that you can directly reach to an entry and go like you can say roll number if i don't know your name etc and if i am arranging roll number wise i can directly go to a roll number and get your details so that is something example of hash tables so practical aspect again you have pictures videos songs they are all stored as files on your laptops or phones or whatever devices so the data structure being used is file file is another data structure type we'll understand then we have whatsapp whatsapp is using what kind of a data structure there is a lot of data charts which are stored on whatsapp that is also data now you we have to understand that your chat box is having all the details of whatever whatsapp messages that have come from various numbers that might or might not be in your contacts to un sab ko kaise arrange kara jaye so that whenever you open the whatsapp you are able to retrieve them quickly aap usko jaldi se jaldi pad sako search kar sako reply kar sako whatever so you want to optimize that data you rightly said to jali so whatsapp is using sql lite embedded software for storing the client chat all of you know what is sql lite you have gone through dbms now whatsapp kya use kar rahe woh use kar rahe jo aap sab pad chuke ho the best way for whatsapp to store the entire data is to use sql lite version and create tables and then fetching from those tables using the sql lite that is practically what whatsapp is using using for data structure what data structure is facebook storing now understand whatsapp is very different than facebook the data is very different the way you are seeing whatsapp facebook you are not seeing in a similar manner and whatsapp is personalized for you if you are having a chat with one other one other person only that person will be seeing the chat other are restricted facebook mein aisa nahi hai your profile if public is visible to everyone if private will be visible to friends of friends or your friends so it is not only with you or with one it is with a lot of people you are sharing the data so sql lite is not a good data structure to store such a data because bahut bar table ko aapko bar bar access karna padega so what kind of data structure is facebook using we'll understand it is a graph kind of a data structure where there one node is having many friends and other friends and so on i know you don't understand what do we mean by graph data structure but let us just try to understand what do we mean by graph data structure see when i am having a node and another node supposedly this is uh, i can see a few names so i am taking the same name supposedly i am representing lakshita with a node and i am representing priya with another node i am representing shriya with another node see these are the first row numbers that are coming on my screen so i am using them and i am representing nancy with the fourth node there can be many other nodes just for example what do i mean by graph so these are supposedly four nodes now lakshita is friends with priya and lakshita is friends with shriya now in facebook if you are a friend with priya babe then priya is also friends with lakshita there is no need of the arrow right so lakshita is friends with priya that means priya is friends with lakshita lakshita is friends with shriya also and priya is friends with nancy supposedly this is how it is going nancy and priya are friends lakshita and nancy are also friends i do not know which of you are friends and i am only trying to create a graph so don't Uh, take me that seriously and shriya has some another group out of these four shriya is only friends with lakshita not with priya and nancy i hope you are just for the example so what is happening is i am just representing that using this graph graph is a group of nodes nodes kaun se hain yahan pe char individuals hain and edges a set of edges 
एजेस कनेक्ट वन और मोर नोड सो एक ही नोड से मल्टीपल एजेस भी हो सकती है नो एज भी हो सकती है देर इज ओनली योर यूजर प्रोफाइल बट यू आर नॉट फ्रेंड्स विद एनी बडी बट द प्रोफाइल इज पब्लिक दैट इज ऑल्सो पॉसिबिलिटी और मे बी यू आर फ्रेंड्स विद ओनली अ फ्यू पीपल और मे बी यू आर फ्रेंड्स विद अ लॉर्ड ऑफ अदर पीपल सो इट डिपेंड सो फेसबुक यूजेस दिस ग्राफ डेटा स्ट्रक्चर टू स्टोर इट्स डेटा इट इज मोर प्रैक्टिकल इम्प्लीमेंटेशन एंड मोर इजियर एंड गिव यू द बेस्ट एफिशियंसी फॉर दी ऑपरेशन whenever lakshita is account lakshita's account will be open all the connecting edges unme jo bhi updates honge that will be coming on your news feed similarly whenever nancy's account would be open all the connecting edges will be coming in the news feed and so on and so forth along with the nodes personal data so this is one example of graph data structures there are many other examples i'm just giving you one example here so this is how facebook is using the graph data structures now after facebook sorry there so this was regarding the various various practical applications now if you see instagram instagram does not use graphs today you will search instagram's consa data structures use or maybe by the end of the semester you will yourself tell me without searching ki agar aap instagram ki application banate which data structure you would have used theek hai अभी हमें नहीं पता कौन कौन से हैं आई एम जस्ट गिविंग यू दैट दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सब्जेक्ट एक्चुअली वट एवर यू डू विद द डेटा इज गोइंग टू बी स्टोर्ड एज सम और दर डेटा स्ट्रक्चर एंड वॉट इज द एफिशियंसी ऑफ योर एप्लीकेशन दैट डायरेक्टली रिलेट टू द डेटा स्ट्रक्चर सेम एलगोरिदम को आप अलग अलग डेटा स्ट्रक्चर यूज करके इंप्लीमेंट कर सकते हो एंड डिफरेंट डेटा स्ट्रक्चर लीड टू डिफरेंट एफिशियंसीज so this is very important that you understand each and every kind of data structure so that later on whenever you are trying to create an application you will be able to know ki i should use this data structure and not the other one uske liye pehle pata hona chahiye na kaun sa data structures available hai now we are taking c as the programming language for our semester why c it is such an old language all of you know then why c what is the practical use of c in 2021 c was c given by long way back in some 1960s the language was developed why why today are we still because there are a lot of other languages as you can see on the screen all these languages java python ruby xml all the languages are using c it is the most old fundamental language and once you know the concept c is a programming language uh, sorry procedural language as against the object oriented language is used nowadays but it is still the underlying language that we are having it is one of the quickest possible languages because it is one of the most initial languages more close to the computer than the user you can say So it is one of the most quick languages that we have available. So if time is something, just in NASA, me, the NASA still uses C as the programming language for a lot of actual satellite codes because time counts. C is the fastest amongst the all available on your screen, and it is the oldest and most fundamental also. So it is widely known to a lot of people. many languages are built based upon the c language like php then you are having dot net you are having java javascript c hash c++ python all these languages are using c as the base language on which their compilers or interpreters have been built so they convert to c then they convert to the machine code so they are using c as the base so you should know c so that it is better to understand the other other than just these there are many other real world practical applications of c language operating systems due to the speed and due to a lot of availability of flexibility in c language operating systems are hugely built on c language embedded systems kya hote hain embedded systems you have a microchip one of your group was giving the same viva you use a microcontroller you download a code in that and using that code the chips aapke 
टीवी रिमोट से लेके ऑटोमेटिक कार लॉक के विद अ प्रेस बटन यू आर एबल टू ओपन योर कार विच इज एट अ डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम यू और मे बी ऑटोमेटिक होम लॉक्स एंड एवरीथिंग लाइक दैट they are using very small chips generally known as microcontrollers and maximum times the code used is c language only because once the code has been downloaded on the controller you are not changing the code you are just using it right from your refrigerators to washing machines to your acs all of them are using embedded systems so c is highly used language then graphical user interface till date are using c a lot of them new programming platforms are built based upon the c and you would be amazed to know a lot of programming in google still happens based on the c language mozilla firefox code is still in c a lot of compiler designing is again done in c and gaming and animations are also available a lot of them in the c language so c is also very important language that we are going to learn in the semester the basics remain absolutely the same the if else the switch the loops the concepts or the way in which we are programming majorly same major difference being classes are not there in c as in c++ so we'll not be able to use the object oriented part other than that we have a lot of um, same functionality as we'll find out functions are there it is a language based on functions it, that is why it is known as procedural language so we focus on procedures rather than objects in this case we'll come to the differences in a different session so let's try to classify the data structures data structures can clearly be classified in primitive and non primitive data structures primitive data structures are those which are defined already in the compiler that you don't have to define like in c c++ you all have been using integer float character double long pointer all these are primitive data structures kyunki you are not defining them they are already defined for you you are only using these data structures so they are all defined for you by whatever compiler or language you are using so these are the basic data types they are representing primitive data structures we will be more interested in non primitive data structures that we have to learn and we have to find out a method which prim non primitive data structures we will be using so non primitive data structures can be of two types a linear list and a non linear list arrays aap sab ne use kare hain so linear list mein one example is arrays then we will be having linked list stacks queues what these are we'll all go in every data structure step by step in complete detail now sara data linearly stored nahi hota kuch data hota hai jaisa humne abhi graph mein example dekha jo non linearly be stored hai there is no linear connection so such list come under non linear data that can be stored as graphs or trees again we'll be going through each and every data structure in complete details so this is again saying the same thing non primitive ones are obviously derived from the existing primitive data structures what we are trying to do is we are trying to group the data jab hum arrays banate hain hum kya karte hain hum integers ya float type ya character type ke data ko group karna chahte hain so we are trying to group the homogeneous data same type ka data in arrays it is possible to group different type of data also such a list would be called heterogeneous all they will come under non primitive data structures we'll see how we implement all what they all mean and what is the efficiency of using each and every data structure in different 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 applications so there are certain operations that are included with every kind of data structure like creating the data structure selecting a few options updating the value of the variable searching through the data structure sorting or merging or deleting these are the basic operations that are associated with each and every kind of data structure so pure semester mein hame karna kya hai हर डेटा स्ट्रक्चर के ये ऑपरेशंस कैसे इंप्लीमेंट हो सकते हैं दैट वी आर डूइंग 
so that the codes you are going to write will be generalized they can be used for any application later on for all kinds of data structures ha bachche anybody saying something would please again repeat now this is a beginning with arrays which i am not doing today so we'll uh, for the day i am stopping with what we have done till now and i'll repeat what i am trying to say there are various various different type of data structures jo bhi padhe humne unka main basic meaning kya hai arrays aap sabko pata hai linear list hoti hai ek just for example i am having integer a 10 i am writing here so i am having a list which is created all of you know already that this list is running from 0 till 9 the index is running from 0 till 9 and arrays have a special thing that they are saved in continuous memory locations they are essentially saved in continuous memory locations so that whenever you are adding plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 you can access through the index you can access the other 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 members of the array so this is one type of list that you are creating using arrays okay that is one data structure array अभी अभी हमने पढ़ा देर इज सन अदर डेटा स्ट्रक्चर कॉल्ड एज अ स्टैक क्या होता है स्टैक यू आर हैविंग अ बुक यू पुट अनदर बुक ऑन इट यू पुट आई एम नॉट श्योर वेदर यू आर एबल टू सी द बुक्स और नॉट इन अ डिफरेंट मैनर यू पुट अनदर बुक ऑन दिस दिस इज बिकमिंग अ स्टैक दिस इज करेंटली अ स्टैक ऑफ थ्री बुक्स now the only property of a stack is you can add or push in the stack from the top you can delete also from the top if you want to go to the third book you will have to remove the topmost book first then you will again remove the next topmost book and then you will reach this similarly if you want to add something you will add only at the top there is no other option so this is a stack in which you are technically it is represented in this particular manner where you are adding also on the top and you are deleting also from the top so this is the top of the stack and these are the underlying elements this is what a stack is again how can stack be implemented last in first out is essentially what used in stack whatever is the last in that is the first out very correct lifo is used so this is how stacks are there एक के ऊपर एक के ऊपर बुक्स आपने रखी हैं लास्ट बुक निकालनी है तो आप नीचे से खींच नहीं सकते दैट इज नॉट दैट यू कैन डू इन कंप्लीट अन ऑर्गेनाइज मैनर बट दैट इज नॉट व्हाट स्टैक्स अलाउ एनी वे सो व्हेन वी आर इंप्लीमेंटिंग स्टैक्स इन कंप्यूटर यू कैन ओनली इंसर्ट फ्रॉम द टॉप यू कैन डिलीट फ्रॉम द टॉप एसेंशियली नोन एज पुश एंड पॉप ऑपरेशन विच आर एसोसिएटेड विद अ स्टैक तो आपको बाकी सारी मेमोरी लोकेशन को याद करने की जरूरत ही नहीं है बिकॉज यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू एक्सेस दैम only single pointer or single location is required which is the top of the stack there are various applications non applications that will go through when we'll come to the data structure lifo means last in first out last element in is the first element to be taken out top of the stack pe hi push hoga top of stack pe hi delete hoga so this is last in first out that is lifo again similarly we have queue kya hota hai queue again we are all in covid times par covid se pehle kya hota hai you are going to watch a movie to so box office pe there is ticket counter so from the ticket counter you are standing there is one person there is another person third person there is one person there is another person there is a third person and so on kisko pehle ticket milegi the person which has come first in the line will get the ticket then the person is removed from the line then the next person will get the ticket this is a queue normal queue aur agar naya koi banda aayega so that will be added at the end of the queue only this is known as a normal queue so first in first out jo pehle aaya use pehle ticket milegi so queue works on first in first out again data structure ka type same hai human beings hi allowed hai यहाँ पे डॉग्स आके टिकट नहीं खरीद पाएंगे या मंकीज आके टिकट नहीं खरीद पाएंगे एंड आई एम क्लियरली रेफरिंग टू पीपल हु वुड ब्रेक द लाइन एंड गो दैट इज नॉट अलाउड 
since we are implementing it in computers first in will be the first one out yahan pe bhi cheating hoti hai jab hum priority queues use karte we are not coming to that right now but queue is a line in which the first one who is in will be the first one to get out so when you are inserting insertion happens at the end of the queue and deletion happens from the beginning of the queue this is how queue is implemented another data structure we'll be doing all of them in detail i'm just giving you examples of what these are graph data structure ka ek example humne abhi dekha hi tha tree special type of graph hote hain jinme ek hierarchical structure hota hai what do i mean by hierarchical structure here is now supposedly i want to represent grandfather grandfather has supposedly four children or maybe five children pehle to bahut sare log hote the this is particularly mom i am just taking an example and there will be some mossies here mossy one say mossy two and why going all girls let there will be some mama one ma as since i am not knowing the name so i am taking the mama one and mama two so this is also graph a node representing grandfather there are nodes who are representing the children of the grandfather and there will be your cousins here nowadays to we generally two or one kid are there so supposedly mama one has two kids you and your sibling are there this is you and maybe this is your sister or brother whatever it is a sibling is there again not going gender biased mossy has a single kid maybe mossy two has again two kids and say just taking an example so this is uh, and there might be after 10 years down the line there may be more right two or one or no that you all decide i'm just giving you a structure so this is representing a hierarchy hierarchy the relationship represented here is but obvious mother child relationship or parent child relationship here grandfather ke children are represented at one level ye ek level hai hierarchy mein this is a level so this is level 0 this is level 1 this is level 2 or maybe you can say generation generation then one generation graphs ka special type jo tree hota hai trees this currently is obviously showing at the lower level we have a parent then we have the children there can be one two n number of children alag alag trees ke alag alag types hai every it is representing like the third level if you are having it's a grand 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 and this is how the relationship goes on one example is clearly as you have seen in generations another example could be if you are having various levels so there is another level that we could represent here that supposedly we are having the registrar in the university then we are having the next level is various deans of various departments right dean examination dean various various academics and so on and so forth department then there will be hods of various departments in every department under dean there would be some hods working under every hod there would be a few faculties which are there for every particular department so on and so forth so this is also represented in the form of an hierarchy because one level is representing similar kind of designation similar level of designation are you all understanding this or maybe if you move ye example i took so that you can understand from the university example or if you are working in an organization then you will be having the managing director of the organization so you have the managing director after the managing director you will be having a deputy director there will be an and there will be maybe more than one deputy directors then you will be having the various hods working under various deputies so you will be having various departments and various heads then you will be having managers at and then you will be having employees you will be having different staff for different purpose and so on so this is how various hierarchies can be broken and they can be used jab hame aise data ko represent karna hai so one very obvious data structure would be tree data structure because trees are best suited 
टू रिप्रेजेंट सच एन एग्जाम्पल और जैसा कि हमने फेसबुक में देखा था लेट एस सी फॉर इंस्टाग्राम ऑल्सो सपोजिटली आई वॉन्ट टू नाउ यूज अ डेटा स्ट्रक्चर फॉर इंस्टाग्राम आई एम नॉट टेलिंग वॉट इज बींग यूज आई एम जस्ट टेलिंग यू टू थिंक अब अगेन इफ आई एम थिंकिंग अबाउट अ ग्राफ देर इज अ सेलिब्रिटी राइट देर इज एनी सेलिब्रिटी ऑफ आई एम नॉट टेकिंग एनी नेम इन पर्टिकुलर बिकॉज आई डोंट लाइक डूइंग दैट एंड देर आर मेनी नोट अभी तक मैंने सिर्फ नोट रिप्रेजेंट करी है ग्राफ में If I connect them, then there would be edges. I have not connected any nodes. Any relationship is not existing as of now. Now, what happens in Instagram is there are two options: followers and following. So I can do is celebrity is following probably none, but there are many people who are followers of the celebrity. So there are this celebrity is having many edges. Which are incoming. That means celebrity की profile को बहुत सारे users देख पाएंगे. Whatever the feed is going from that Instagram account, many of you will be able to see. Now this is another person. This is another person. Same thing will happen. जितने लोगों को the person is following, outgoing edges would be there, and जितने people are following this person, incoming edges would be there. Now here, when I'm using the directions, this celebrity is following, is being followed by one, two, three, and four. But one, two, three, and four, none of them the celebrity is following back. The celebrity is not following back anybody. But they are all following the celebrity. So this is one possible implementation or the data structure that can be used for. organizing data of instagram accounts but this is not how it happens i'm just giving you a possible example samajh aa raha hai sabko how the graph data structure or maybe i just want to represent some problem and i want to represent it form of the data structures then i can do uh, graphs so supposedly let's take a very common traveling salesman problem traveling salesman problem kya hai ki ek salesman hai Okay, I'll do that. Supposedly, there is a salesman. Just let me complete this. There is a salesman. So, and there are ten cities. अब उस salesman को ten cities में जाना है, और the salesman has to sell the stuff, and then he has to come back at the original city. And the salesman has to cover. So, there are ten cities. Supposedly, not ten. There are only five. I'm taking an example, and all the cities. may or may not be connected to each other it is a possibility they are connected is it is a possibility that they are not connected so we don't know whether they are connected or not i'm just giving you example it might be a possibility that they are connected it might not be a possibility that they are connected so whatever way supposedly the these are city 1 city 2 city 3 city 4 city 5 and you are even having the distance supposedly 10 kilometers or say not 10 100 kilometers or maybe 150 kilometers 200 300 so you want to find a path for the salesman so that you know all the city city 1 2 3 4 5 sab cover honi chahiye aur wapas city 1 pe aana hai so what could be the shortest possible path such a data jaise aap google maps mein use karte ho can be best represented using graphs how to solve the problem abhi nahi kar rahe hum That is different. पहले तो हमें ये सोचना है कि प्रॉब्लम को रिप्रेजेंट कैसे करें प्रॉब्लम का जो डेटा है उसे ऑर्गेनाइज कैसे करें सो दैट वी कैन रिट्रीव एंड यूज इट इन दिशेंट मैनर सो दिस इज वन पॉसिबल वे यूज इन ग्राफ्स टू रिप्रेजेंट दैट हाउ विल सॉल्व दैट इज अ डिफरेंट सो आई स्टॉप हेयर फॉर द डे दिस इज रिगार्डिंग वॉट वी मीन बाई डेटा स्ट्रक्चर्स वॉट डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ डेटा स्ट्रक्चर्स आर अवेलेबल टू अस and what we'll be going through in the subject we'll take up each and every data structure and we'll do all the operations in programming language how the data structure is implemented how the various operations on the data structure can be done and we'll see the application part also so that is about what data structures means